You've heard that there are three kinds of lies. Lies, damned lies, and statistics. Well, I think the Kansas GOP has got it all down. They've learned all of it. First, let's talk about some of the lies. And you don't have to look any, to any farther past than the energy bill that the House voted on last week. It's a bill that starts with a very basic question. Do you think that you and I should be subsidizing the big five integrated oil companies? Not a hard question. I've never, in, in the year and a half, I haven't met anybody who says that their tax dollars ought to be further subsidizing ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil made $41 billion of profit last year. We did some math. That's $1,300 a second in profit. And we figured since I've been up here, they've made about a quarter, about three minutes, they've made a quarter of a million dollars in profit since I've been standing up here. So why, why would ExxonMobil continue to get tax breaks? Why do teachers and nurses and truck drivers have their tax dollars going to further support ExxonMobil? Why are Americans being asked to subsidize fossil fuels, as we said, as the globe continues to get warmer and warmer. It just doesn't make any sense. So the energy bill that Dennis and I voted on last week, we didn't say let's cut, we're not eliminating the subsidies, we just shaved some of them off. And instead of, of spending that money and sending it to the uh, oil companies, why don't we use that money to, to produce the green energy, the energy that's right here in Kansas. We called it, I call it, the Kansas Economic Development Act, coming to support the green energy that's coming from Kansas. The idea is breathtaking in its simplicity, but it's stunning in its impact. By pumping billions of dollars into wind and solar, and yes, these were the ethanol dollars, the biodiesel dollars, we can break away from fossil fuels. We can break that dependence on foreign oil. We can protect our environment. We can strengthen our economy. And yes, ultimately, we can and we have to free ourselves from our dependence on foreign oil. So who, who, when faced with this choice, would choose to stand with big oil? I can tell you right now that I don't want to be the guys from, from Kansas who are going to have some explaining to do, to stand up in front of their constituents and say, I voted with big oil. If this was, just make no mistake, this was a straight up and down vote, nothing else. Do we subsidize big oil? Do we subsidize renewable fuels? And right here in Kansas, it went straight down party lines. And I'm proud to have served with Dennis Moore in saying that we're going to stand up to big oil and start doing this right a little trouble. So here's where some of the lies come in. Actually, President Bush threatened to, um, he threatened to block, to veto any bill that just dents these subsidies. It's just, it's, it's, it's more bizarre than you can ever imagine. In the world according to President Bush, big oil is on the side of the angels. Well, when we've got two oil and, and gas guys in the White House, I guess that's no shock. Let's go and look back to the year 2005, and I'll, I'll give you a quote from President Bush. This is in 2005. With $55 a barrel oil, we don't need incentives to oil and gas companies to explore. There are already plenty of incentives. At $55, I agree with them, at $100 a barrel, I think we can all say hallelujah. It's about time to stop this. But here's the strange thing. The President... The president uh, changed his mind, went back on his word, and, and the Republican Party has stuck with him absolutely lock, stock, and barrel. They actually want us to believe, and they're trying to give you a message, that the, that the oil and gas companies are going to have to raise the price of gas if we don't subsidize them. Heck, it's, it's, listen to them. They might have you believe that we're gonna, they're going to go out of business if we don't subsidize the big oil. So again, we're talking lies here that I think we're all ready to stand up for and respectfully, very respectfully, ask members of Congress from Kansas and the House and the Senate, what on earth were you thinking? If I learned one lesson from this campaign, it was this. The truth actually works. Don't lie. You don't have to frighten. 
You don't have to condescend. Just speak the truth to America.